Hi there Paint Shop Pro users, welcome to my site and welcome to this video tutorial. On this one, on this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the Levels command because the Levels command is really useful and it's probably one of the first things you should look at when you're starting to fiddle around with an image. Take a look and see what your histogram says about an image, take a look at the image itself, see what you think, and adjust the, uh, the levels accordingly. So I'm going to show you how to do that. It's fun, it's cool. So let's go to a new adjustment layer, Levels. You can almost see it down here. And I don't want to do it right on the background. I want to be able to change opacity and throw out the, uh, the level if I don't like it. Now you've got options. You've always got options. Contrast. These are the auto options. And I'm only showing this because maybe somebody wants to use the auto. I'd rather use the mechanical me decide kind of thing. But we'll choose contrast. We'll click on contrast. See how it made it uh, a bit more contrasty? Not much, but a bit. So I'm going to reset that. Now let's do color. So it's supposed to uh, modify the color and correct it now. Not much happened. So it's thinking, oh, the color's right. So I'm going to reset it. And now I'm going to go to levels, which does both of these. This is auto, remember. It's not me choosing it. Uh, not much. Now down here you've got these little uh, color droppers. If I take this, now what to do to use these you have to have the preview showing. So I'm going to bring this down a bit more and preview. And I'm going to zoom out and we'll pan around a bit here. I want to get the, the, the bird's head in here, the swan's head. So if I grab the black and I tap on the black area here. It's going to make a change. You can see that this is the after, this is the before. And not much difference. So I'm going to reset that. If I take the white and just tap on the whitest part of the image, it's going to make a change as well. Not much. Now, middle gray. Select and click on an image to neutralize midtones. Okay, what you got to do with this when you got to find middle gray. Now finding middle gray just by your eyeball is real tough. So if I think, well, okay, maybe this is middle gray here. Well, no, I don't like that. So let's try it there. Eh. It's hard to find it. Now here's how you can do that. Let's zoom in. There's got to be all these different colors right around here somewhere. Okay, so now I'm going to hold the Alt key down. And when I do that and I run my uh, color dropper across this preview, you can see down here, down here, is changing colors and doing all kinds of crazy things. So whichever one is actually active underneath the color dropper is the one that I can click on. So if I, if I click here, it thinks that's white. And it's going to make a change. Well, that's not much good, is it? Let's reset it. Let's keep doing this. Now it found something that looked, thought was middle gray right there. Uh, that did something, not much. So these are okay, but you can do better yourself. So let's get rid of this preview. And let's grab these little diamonds. Now you can see the hide or the, the shadow area. There's not much information until about here. So if I just grab this little diamond and move it over, whoa! That made a nice difference, didn't it? And take this little diamond and move it over to the edge there. Okay, now let's take a look at this. Now that's a bit different image, isn't it? Now I don't know about you, but I like that one better than the original. And I like it better than any of the automatic ones. So there it is before, there it is after. Now take a look at this. We still have about as many whites but the dark areas have been stretched out a little bit. So there's the difference in the histogram. And there's no right or wrong histogram. Um, it just The histogram just is. So for me, I like this image the way it is now. Maybe you wouldn't. I don't know. So let's try some different ones. I've got a couple other images here. Now this one. A hot dog cart. And you can see the uh, histogram here. Oh, see? Barking dogs in the background histogram here. It's awfully dark and you can see it in the image, right? So let's add an adjustment layer for levels. 
and we're going to drag this down because we're missing all the highlights. That made a difference, didn't it? Okay. Now let's see how it looks. You can see how the histogram now is stretching all the way up to the highlight up to the top, up to the highlight area, off and on. Now, we could do some more things in there. If you want to get your levels dialog back, you just double click on it and you can actually change this middle diamond. This is the midpoint or the midtones, I mean. And I can drag it off to the left here. I'm going to put preview on image and uh, watch the bit the image go. Now, I like this a bit better. So I'm going to click OK. And there we go. Now, I have a question about this gentleman here. If you've noticed, for the astute among you, what is he doing with his fingers there? I don't know. If he was uh, not liking me taking his picture, he's using the wrong finger. Anyways, that's beside the point. It doesn't matter. Okay, so there's a second image, and you can see that made quite a difference with that levels dialog or with that levels uh, adjustment. It's like it changed contrast, it changed color, it did everything, and it made the image viewable and enjoyable. Okay, one more. One more to look at. Here's my two girls. This one here is the one who is just yapping. That's Libby. This is Tabitha my little sweeties and you can see the histogram not many dark areas and despite the fact that they're white there's a lot missing in the highlight area so let's grab ourselves an adjustment layer for levels and let's move this diamond down and now let's move this one up tap OK see what we got now they look a bit better now, but they got these awful pink ears and pink noses, don't they? Um, I think as they were playing and just kind of collapsed. So that's before, and that's after. Better contrast now, better looking image. Okay, so that's how you use levels. I mean, you can go in there and use all those auto functions, but uh, the auto functions really are quite annoying. Uh, it's better to do it yourself. So try the levels command. Go into your uh, into your Oh, your stash of images and uh, find something you think look a bit flat and start fiddling around with the levels. See what you come up with. You might be pleasantly surprised. So, thanks for watching. I appreciate your time and your attention and I hope you find this useful. If you came in on YouTube, here's a link to my site up here. Not a link, but there's the, the URL. Come and pay me a visit. I'd love to see you. I got some other tutorials there that aren't in video yet, so uh, maybe they will eventually. Um, so I appreciate your time and thank you very much.